Mana Tabunti tadi? We stop at 10.4, right? Okay, Cam. So now we continue at 10.5. In organic carbon concentrated mechanism, crystallization acid metabolism. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> okay, just a quick recap from this morning. So this morning, you have been introduced with the concept of compartmentalization, meaning that the the step of carbon fixation is actually happen first in separate location before the actual carbon cycle takes place. This is somewhat unusual when you compare with the regular photosynthesis, the, the regular Kelvin cycle, because um, in the regular C3 cycle, the 5-carbon sugar, RUBP, ribulose bisphosphate, will come together with CO2 with the help of Rubisco to continue with the process of carbon fixation, carbon reduction, and regeneration all within the same location in the stroma of the same chloroplast. But C4, life is not that easy. So why? It's all about investment. Not only that it invests in making um, extra structure to do carbon fixation and carbon assimilation in different cells, but also invest in terms of metabolic currency, the ATP. Right. So you know now, C1, C2, C3, C4. What's the other C? C hum. <laughs> so the other C is CAM, Crassulation Acid Metabolism. Not to say that Crassulation is actually the name of a family, Crassulaceae. Not cr Crustaceae. Did you know that? Some people say that out loud in the interview, UPM. Uh, the family of pumpkin, Crustaceae. <laughs> <laughs> Kukurbitasi lah, kukurbit Krustasi apa? Ketam Confident penting <laughs> So, kras, krasu, krasulation uh, kras, Krasulasi So, all these um, Plants that live in rather arid environment So, you can associate Plants that have this chem mechanism, usually they are fleshy. That's number one. Confirm. So, if you say that, oh, that means my orchid is chem. Yes. Orchid is chem. Only a few actually young uh, C3. Yeah, if you go to your, your you are uh, uh, admiring your phalaenopsis, your moth orchids, and you look, oh, this is very fleshy. Yes, it is chem. Maybe you like your aloe vera so much. Uh, that is also chem. Tell me, what else is fleshy plant? Cactus, yes. Cactus, what else? Kalancho, poko, stawa. Stawa, bukan Star Wars. Stawa. It's very it's fleshy, right? One thing. Lagi, apa? Super sweet. <laughs> Super sweet. Uh, pineapple lah. Pineapple. Yes, dragon fruit. Um, pitahaya, not pitaya, pit, pitahaya. Pitaya is actually the noble cactus di dekat negara Peru. Yang Vietnam punya tu pitahaya, dragon fruit. You, you got sometimes you got red, sometimes you got grey. Dari kuning tau, variety kuning. Yeah, right. Okay, so what's the deal with this? If the compartmentalization of C4 is separated physically by two distinct cell types, mesophyll cell and bundle shift cell, the separation by CAM plants is achieved by what we call as temporal separation, by time. Meaning that, to put it easy, um, 
if you look at here, time is of essence here. During the night, during the day. During the night, when the temperature is rather lower, the humidity increases. That's very important. High humidity. And also relatively um, non-existing intense radiation. At night, right? These actually are some of the recipe that can open stomata. Yeah. Maybe you just want to open your stomata, but you are growing your plants in the uh, plant factory. Yes, you can do so by having all these condition met. So these actually facilitate stomata opening at night. So when stomata open at night, um, CO2 will rush in into the cell and the can plant have this mesophyll cell as well, the photosynthetic cell. And the cells here have the regular C3 appearance. You have your chloroplast, you have your vacuum, mitochondria, paroxysome, and so on. However, what's different here is that the CO2 is not going to undergo Kevin cycle right away. It enters first, get dissolved to form carbonate, bicarbonate, and then converted to mallet. Yeah, so throughout the night, no sugar precursor formation happening. It's all about accumulating the reserve of mallet, the four carbon compound. So chem, the first product for chem is also four carbon compound, mallet. Okay. And as the plant approaching the day, then the light will start to come right and it gets warmer. So when this happens, the stomata will start to close. When stomata start to close, the mallet will undergo decarboxylation, meaning that mallet now, with the help of mallet dehydrogenase, will release its CO2. Now mallet release CO2, wh what does it become now? Pyruvate. Yeah, pyruvate can become can uh, do the night job again because it, this is still a cycle yeah so the co2 is released and again the similar thing happens with the c4 plant rubisco is being crowded jammed bombarded with co2 presence no room for oxygen to get in okay pretty much the rubisco is deaf or blinded by uh, the presence of overwhelming CO2. Okay. And then the rest of the reaction follow as per usual uh, Kelvin cycle. Okay. Then you get your trisphosphate and so on. Right. <coughs> so uh, I have enlarged this. So this is for your reference actually. What I want to highlight here is that um, even though it, it's happening within the same cell, there is no physical um, location for each of the carbon fixation and carbon assimilation to happen. For chem plant, the system the scientists use is to divide it into four phases. I think it's mentioned in here. Phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. Phase one is actually during at night. Somata completely open. Um, then CO2 is captured, then converted to mallet. Yeah. Just as it approaches the, the daytime, during the dawn time, now is the phase number two, right? So that's the transition of it from phase one to phase uh, number, number three. Yeah. So during the daytime, uh, completely closed stomata, but the Kelvin cycle happening as usual right now from from this it will move back to phase one the in between phase now is what we call as phase four yeah so why why this is important the reason is actually you learned this this morning you see in the morning different sets of enzymes is activated at night different sets of enzyme is activated in the case here similar to the um, C4 plant as well. During the day, what enzyme do you think that needs to get activated? 
We start at night first lah because it's phase number one, right? So during at night, PEP carboxylase. It should be reaction number two in the in the table. Yeah, PEP carboxylase needs to work super hard to capture and convert the CO two into malate, right? Do you need uh do you need other enzymes to to work as much as this? Actually, you don't need. So during during the the night time, uh, pet carboxylase get acti activated, and then the malate will start to accumulate and then start in the vacuole. Right. So that's why in the picture here, the vacuole it looks so big. This is this is why. Right. Right, then what else? Um, the transient phase are phase number two and phase number four. Shift the metabolism in preparation of phase number three and phase number one. We're talking now about phase number two because the whole night it has worked so hard to capture the carbon, change it to malate. In the phase number two, just before the daytime, the Rubisco activity increases. You see, different enzyme is activated now. At night, is it sensible to activate Rubisco? No point. Seriously, no point. After all, if you remember from your lesson before, Rubisco, you need what to activate it? Light. You need Rubisco activates to, to, to activate Rubisco itself. You need light for it. You need the I like to to show this again because uh, kurang kambak muka. Peridoxin, eh, thioridoxin pathway ni to be activated. You see, this is light. This is all light. Electron move from one molecule to another. One guy get oxidized. One guy get reduced. And at the end, so, some chemical reaction can happen because the reduction of some amino acid residue like in this case here a serine or something change the conformation of the enzyme from activated to non-activated vice versa right so Rub rubisco with the presence of light it gets activated and now it can do the regular uh kelvin cycle do you think it's going to experience photorespiration In Kemplum, Kemplum has Rubisco as well. Do you think it's going to experience photorespiration? How? Oh, oh. Compared to C4 plants, photorespiration slightly more tendency to happen for the Kemplum because there is no physical separation. It is still within the same cell. Right. In fact, coming to the uh, the new fact that you need to learn now, the concept of chem plant is not fixed in stone. Some chem plant is called constitutive chem plant, meaning that whether it likes it or not, it will follow the regular notion that you have. At night, close tomata, do carbon fixation. During the day, eh, sorry, kembali. At night, open stomata, do the carbon fixation. During the day, close to mata, do carbon assimilation. That's the, the, the traditional conventional definition of uh, the camp plan. So that is called constitutive camp plan. So that's the sentence here. Constitutive camp plants use the nocturnal uptake of CO2 at all times. However, like I said, this is not set in stone. There are some camp plants which is called facultative camp, meaning that the camp plants that have this mechanism can resort to camp pathway only when they are underwater stress or intense sunlight radiation. If they feel happy and so on, they are just regular C3. Right? Uh, meaning that when they have this, don't you think they will be subjected to photorespiration? Of course, yes. Because they, are, they, they, they choose the C3. 
All right, you should, when the, the moment you choose C3, photo respiration definitely will happen. Why? Because the photo system, photolysis immediately release what? Oxygen. This oxygen has to go somewhere. If the mitochondria are not taking it out, it will compete for the active site at Rubisco, which is within the chloroplast. Mitochondria is out. Right. Yeah. So what photorespiration will happen? Okay. Yeah. So regardless of this, um, whether it's constitutive, constitutive, facultative, or whether it's uh, having all the four phases or maybe two, just three phases, the, the, the concept of carbon concentrating mechanism is still there. Yeah. It's just that for the camp plant, they just use time to help concentrate the, the CO2. So you can only appreciate now uh, how plants actually, <clears throat> who makes the decision? I mean, like you might wonder, why the plant not make all the new enzyme altogether? Do not make Robisco, make Rubisk. No O at the end. R-U-B-I-S-C. No O. Right. Oh, ever wonder that? Why plants do not just simply make a new enzyme that com is completely blind to oxygen? Isn't it the, the definition of enzyme that you learn? The activity as specific. Lock and key. Pop. Now, you, with Rubisco, one lock, you can use two key. And so, why plants not doing it? Why it must stick to the Rubisco? Actually, I, I, I have partially answered it a few uh, lectures back. Why? Partly because Rubisco is a multi-dimer protein. It has many compartments to make one protein. The large subunit and the small subunits come to attach together. The subunits not entirely come from the nucleus to make it. The recipe to make this protein. Some of this protein actually come from the chloroplast. Okay, then they fuse together, then you get your Rubisco. It's not like any other protein. Most other protein in plant, it's either completely nuclear protein or mitochondrial protein or chloroplastic protein. But chloropla uh, Rubisco is special. It requires different organelles just to make one of it. Yeah. And maybe you want to blame CO2 as well because CO2 solubility depends on what? Temperature. The higher the temperature, the less soluble CO2 in the, in the solution. And acidity. That's why you need magnesium. Right, remember? You learned that, right? So there, there are many things at play. So it's not easy for the plants to... Because if you just change one enzyme, the rest of it need to change as well. All the reaction cascade back all the way. And... Kalau kau pemalas, kau nak suruh dia buat. It's going to take very long, long time to go. So, but but it's okay. So the plant see that okay. The the quickest way to do this, we just do the CCM, carbon concentrating mechanism. Boom, it works just fine. You only need seventy days to harvest corn. Yeah. What 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 about pineapple? It can. Is it fast or slow to harvest? Can you get it in 70 days? Uh, so that's, that's a key difference. Even though it looks similar, CAM and C4, but CAM is actually rather slow because of this nocturnal carbon fixation solely. Yeah. Unlike C4, pure C4, as long as there is light, it can do the carbon fixation and assimilation throughout the day, no problem. Yeah. So, finally, that's, that's just a little, little fact that you should know. As long as the temperature is above 25 degrees, C4 will win. 
but the moment temperature start to be around 25 to 20 degree going down c3 will win in terms of growth because temperature down what happened to co2 less or more soluble more soluble so when you have more co2 then the regular carbon uh, cycle can happen the kelvin cycle and there is no need to invest extra atp c4 plant they need to invest extra atp to to to, make, to change from one compound to another compound in this year reactions number um, six and reaction number nine that's why you need the two atps just to fix one carbon well co2 right but um when it comes this is besides the regular kelvin cycle the kelvin cycle already, already consuming atp right this is on top of it so when the temperature is 25 or 23 degree there is no need to go through all of this that's why c3 will win yep right okay so what about here so this is just just my point earlier about the activation of the uh pep carboxylase um depending on the nocturnal or diurnal uh condition the light okay so this actually will prevent the the formation of unnecessary biochemical reaction when the time is not correct i mean like if the rubisco is activated at night that's going to be a build up of oxygen and stuff that has to go out stop, stop. i mean like the, the plants need to choose only one now shut the rubisco just do the carbon fixation right So, it, which which one which which one is your favorite um, metabolism pathway? Is it a versatile prime? The the camp prime. Do you think it's versatile? Actually, it's versatile because it has the constitutive and facultative. For the C four plants, do not have that. They just have the variance in terms of the enzymes used for decarboxylation. It is still a C4. Whether you like it or not, whether the temperature is favorable or not, it still need to do the C4. Let's say that suddenly the temperature here is 23 degree and then you are growing your, your upper, uh, corn and maize. Your corn and maize compared to rice is going to grow slower. Yeah, it's going to grow slower because C4 plant is designed for the hot climate. Rice... 23 degree that is the party time right no need for photorespiration don't care about midday depression open stomata seluah-luahnya do sugar like like uh, that's not tomorrow so some rice especially rice uh, i think in, in in china they they have this long day right i i i saw that time uh, super fast Super fast. In, in, in two weeks' time, suddenly you got like ex, ex, extra 20 tillers. Super fast. The, 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 the day is in, uh, uh, lengthened. Then the temperature is milder. Got IP. Right. Okay. Right. So what's, what's, what's the rest is about? This is something for you to read. Whatever I, I said just now is, is actually um, in here. Yeah. What about what about uh, plants that do not have economic importance? How 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 do you think you can improve the camp plants? If, for example, the pineapple, you know, it's going to grow slow compared to um, the corn, right? How how you want to 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 speed up the process to get more harvest? Baju tu malam. Hormon. Ah, uh, hormon. They use a hormon. Pineapple without hormon. Ethylpon. Ethylpon is a form of soluble ethylene. Ethylene. Ethylpon tu. Ethylene yang soluble. So when you apply to the 
to the plants, uh, especially uh, bromelets family, it will trigger the formation of inflorescence. Okay, so when 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 this when this happens, rather than wait for all the way to three years time, you only need about nine months for the floral induction to happen. That's super fast, right? Yeah, and then you can you can harvest this this pineapple, and then very quickly you can start a new cycle all together. It's all about money, right? Right. Um, there there is a physical sign actually. Um, I think when it has started to form a small pup. Yep. Yeah, so the, the root structure, because the pup is not going to come, is the root is not well established. The moment, the, you know pup, pup, anjing tu, no. <laughs> Bukan papi tu, pup. P-U-P, uh, anak dia, anak dia, anak. Ah, ah, sulu, sulu. <laughs> anjing, <laughs> keluar dari pokok, awak nak naik tepi tu. Bukan tu. <laughs> pup, pup, pup. Yeah. And also uh, the temperature, the, the, uh, I think people not going to apply during rainy season. Yes, if you apply during rainy season, because put it this way, most fruit bearing trees or plant, they need this thing dry period to accumulate the sugar in the fruit. And also for the fruit setting, if the rain keeps coming, the flower cannot convert to fruit. Ah, bila luruh. Tak, kan? Baru nak, tak, dia tak lekat. Baru, baru, baru nak jadi, dah hujan. Baru nak jadi hujan. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is the trick many farmers in Japan actually, they use for the Roman grapes. You know Roman grapes? Oh. It's macam bola pimpong. Kan? Super sweet and the redness is even throughout the bunch. Patu nah nang ibu. So to to ensure that this must melon honey melon apa benda semua to get the 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 sweetness that they desire they actually control the uh, the the watering because the plant the moment it doesn't sense stress it's not going to accumulate the sugar to the baby. Because, because it can, you know what? Uh, things are good. Water is ample. Let's continue vegetative growth. You don't want that. Now it's a reproduction. Send all your food to the baby. Yeah. So in plant nutrition, you learn it under section, I think, nutrient remobilization. Yeah. So you break, you break down, not because of aging. You break down because you want to send it to the baby. Yeah. Some nutrients are mobilized, right? MPK. Some nutrients are immobilized, such as what? Yeah, calcium is immobilized because calcium stay in the cell wall in the form of calcium pectinate. That's not going to go away, right? Okay. Abi, Abi job. So I put I put the summary here that you can uh macam nanti apa benda semua. Um, oh yeah, so this is this is this is the 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 sum summary for all the important metabolism, C C C C C C C metabolism. Just to 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 give you a reality slap one more time. In between here, there's always somebody else. In between C3 and C4, there's somebody else. In between here, somebody else. Number one, in between pun ada somebody else. There's a C2, intermediate C3, intermediate C4. Just now, you just learn facultative chem, uh, constitutive chem, and, and so on. Right. Okay. Remember, C3, this is the regular way of doing it. Everything happened in one cell. However, highly subjected to photorespiration, especially during hot time. Stomata are closing. Photorespiration is happening. Something wasteful is going bound to happen. For C4 plant, almost zero photorespiration due to the compartment, compar compartmentalization between the mesophyll cell and Bundeschi cell. So these, we call it as um, special separation. 
Bukan special Engkau special istimewa tu No Special Temporal Special space Special um, bundle sheets Misophil uh, For the camp line The separation between carbon fixation and carbon assimilation is done by temporal separation, by time. Tempus. I think that's the name of a god. God dear lah. Yeah. Tempus. I think. Tempus. Yeah. It is said that if you, if you, are, if you BFF with Tempus, you can reverse time. <laughs> okay. All right. Can we quickly do the quiz? Why not I give you time, 5 minutes, 10 minutes to do the quiz? Ada quiz, 10.3, 10.4, 10.5. Buat lah. Let's see, let's see. Now we go through it together before we do, uh, apa ni? Uh, about one hour uh, lap. Okay, do now. Kita go, kita go through sekali. Open, open, open Chrome. Open gossip. Open everything. Don't, don't open. Things shouldn't be open. Okay. Shopee ni ni. Message ni. Kenapa? Kawat. Tak ada. Tak ada. Oh. Ke kau cakap ada is possible cakap kepada driver to message or call first because away from the address now. Okay, I leave to you until 2.48. 10 minutes, okay? I thought driver yang akan message. That's not that's not driver. Itu kedai.
Siap? Siap? Very easy. Very easy. Or do you want to go through on, on Thursday? Um, I think we make a quick move because it's about we need to demo the image. So we'll go through on, on Thursday, okay? Tapi kalau kau salah jadi. The wrong question will become your test too. Can I? <laughs> it's, it's called selective exam. The wrong question now become the exam question. So I'm going to go to fight. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> no, but just about so we've got three sections here. I know you need to, to read quite a bit. Uh, uh, let's try to do this within one hour. So, ah, uh, uh, you have done the, your experiment at the farm, you got three treatments. What are they? Control, Hospiron and Michael K. Okay. okay, so you how many times have you applied the treatment? Three. Ah, pening. I ask you to keep track, right? What what have been done? Because you need to write your report. This lab ada satu je report at the end. If you screw that up, something clearly wrong with you. Okay, so one of the thing that you need you can do while uh, applying we uh, by the way since did you know that your your plan dah keluar bunga? Ah, uh, tak tahu kan? Kenapa begini tak nak begini ngap? So because the plants have the have the flowers uh, emergence already by today, we're not going to do any more treatment. So on Thursday we will quickly apply phosphate rich folia for all of them to to ensure high grain filling okay that's not treatment that's the agronomy practice for 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 your uh, rice in net uh, experiment okay and then uh, we'll just wait until harvest because the moment rice has started coming out with all the flowers the panicles usually within uh, about one uh, one month after that you can do the harvest Right, yeah, you're gonna get your organic rice. Organic, yeah. <laughs> okay. So today we're going to. Sebenarnya ada video. Kau tengok video aja. Siapa nak? Siapa nak ni? Um, ada image ke dalam ni? Okay. So I want to show you how can you quantify the physical measurement of the leaf that you have in terms of the dimensional measurement as well as, well as semi-quantitative measurement. Because some of the leaf looks healthy, some got infestation, injury to it, right? How do you want to quantify this? You cannot uh, tell in your report, this look, the, some of the leaf look somewhat unhappy. Look, some kind of brownish, brownish with a tinge of yellow. Nobody going to believe you, right? So you need to come up with some kind of quantity, um, continuous variables, if you will, to, to do that. So, uh, the image. Have you done the image? So let's So let's see that. Um, while I'm doing this, you can follow with your computer. Okay, so can you write uh, apa parameter yang nak ni? The apa with draw sekali gambar apa tu? Lanceolate tu to show the apa dimensional measurement. Mana benda ni? Kenapa dia buka dengan edge? Okay, I'll just use this one. The good thing with image J, um, you can keep it in your thumb drive. Or you can keep it in your phone. The file is very small. It's an image analysis made by scientists for scientists. So it's free. Oh, oh, 
Oh, stop on the image you don't know. Ah, ni ha. So, where is the image? So if you go to your lesson folder, your uh, classroom folder under the practical subfolder, there's um, your friends have uploaded all the images in here, okay? For the Abexer Dysel. Okay. So I'm going to use one as um, demonstration. So now I am where, where am I? So I'll be using this image here. Tray one. Plan number what? Kita ada plan number. Oh, uh, all five in one image. Okay, okay. So I'll use this image. So you can see that this image actually, uh, one image has um, five leaves. Remember the morphology of rice leaf is either linear or lanceolate. In this case, I think it looks a bit lanceolate because it's kind of in the middle, a bit swollen, then kind of um, sharpen, sharpen down right at the tip here. So, the things that you can get to learn today is how to get the whole area of the leaf. Usually, you learn using that thing, right? The leaf area meter. Now, you can use image J. That's why you can take the image first. Leaf area, length, width, green area, and diseased. Diseased area. Right. Sama dengan you. By the way, benda ni tadi kita ambil video dah. Kalau kau tak nak dengar aku bebas, kan boleh je nak video. Kan nak? What? Okay, let's do this together. Okay, dah buka macam ni. Sorry, 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 sorry. Ikutlah. Okay. Dah. You got your image ready. You got your Im uh, image J open. Okay, ha? If I'm too fast, let me know. So, take your image here. Oh, kata. I'll give you five minutes. Sort, sort your life out. <laughs> The message lagi. Dah? Dah? Okay. Okay. Happy. Alright. So, um, take your image here. Now, drag to image J. Let image J open. So, it will open right away this way. Meaning that your image now is not open by window photo explorer, but it's open by image J. You know it because it tells you the pixel here. For example, the image that I choose here, the pixel is 4000 times 88 and it's RGB, 28 megabyte. You get it? Good. Apa kata kau bersia-sia beri bantuan kepada rakyat jelata? <laughs> <laughs> Kau dah tahu <laughs> Good, good, good Okay In all images That you are going to fit to image J Regardless of the type of file JPEG ke GIF ke PNG ke GIF ke All these image They are the background pixels reading Meaning that on the image, as one pixel move, in reality, how many cm it has moved? You need to tell the software that one pixel is equivalent to what centimeter in real life? Awat, kau ibu kau. Kau, kau kena, kau kena buka ni dulu kau. Dia tak download lagi kau. Ah, uh, dah, dia dah, dia dah nampak baru boleh drop ke situ. Okay. Drag, drag drop je. Drag drop je, very easy. 
Okay Alah jang janganlah buta IT sangat Sedih rasa Engkau <coughs> takkan kau pun ada masalah Empuk lah Apa benda? Komputer baru Oh <coughs> Lupa lupa dia baru dapat komputer baru Ya yeah, ok fine Yelah komputer aku dah berdebu <coughs> <coughs> Komputer baru ya That's a new excuse All the excuses in the world Okay, got it Dah eh? Okay After you have opened macam ni Dia dah buka You need to tell The software One pixel Dia ada pixel tau If you zoom in, dia ada pixel One pixel on this image file In reality equivalent to What centimeter or what meter Kena bagi tahu. And each image is different Unless you take your uh, gambar gunakan microscope with fixed distance, fixed lens or you use a light box meaning that the, the distance between the subject and the lens of your camera never change the lighting semua sama uh, kalau macam tu tak apa tapi sebab we use uh, phone camera and so on the lighting pun ada kejap cerah ada tak ni kan so every single image kena buat benda ni right okay now Let's, we call it a uh, scale, scale calibration. So let's say that, nampak tak ada ni? Lem, lembu pula, apa? Uh, ruler, ruler. Tangan kanan, pegang ni. Tangan kiri, you need to play with the keyboard plus minus sign. Okay. Dia kena, dia kena, dia kena guna dua tangan sekarang. Okay. Use your cursor to hover above the ruler. Dan gunakan tangan kiri, tekan tanda plus untuk zoom Haa, Pakan, zoom kan? Okay, lepas tu go to image J Click the straight line icon Okay, after it has been activated Go back to the ruler Then drag a straight line for 1 centimeter Macam ni Make sure it's straight tau. How do you know it's straight? Tengok dekat angle tu. Kalau angle tu uh, 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 lebih kurang zero, maksudnya straight lah tu. Ah, uh. uh, buat macam tu. Okay, you should you should get something like this. Dapat? Macam ni je. Jangan tekan apa-apa dah. Biar dulu. Okay? IYB. Ke mana tu? Apa lainnya? Windows ke? Aku pilih Linux. <laughs> okay? Dah eh? Alright. So, this actually in real life equivalent to 1 centimeter. Kan? So, you need to tell the software now. I want this image. You know what is the pixel value of it. So, click analyze. Dekat atas. Then go down to set scale. Take the set scale. Ah, nampak? Akan keluar benda tu. So, you have all this detail. Distance in pixel. Ah, now it tells you. The thing that you just uh, select this for this length on this image of this quality, that is worth 37.6 pixels. However, you need to tell now this 37.6 pixel is actually 1 cm only. So, change the non-distance to 1. Unit length change to centimeter. It can be any unit. Micrometer, meter, inches, ela, yard, whatever. We use cm lah sebab pembaris ni cm. Okay? Something like that. Afiq, bantuan? Uh, no, 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 no. 
my distance oh. jangan tak sama sama do not follow my reading this is my computer my image your image tak akan sama that's the whole idea we doing this sebab setiap image akan lain <laughs> yeah yeah distance and pixels tak akan sama kalau sama kau memang tipu <laughs> tak akan sama tak akan sama Ah, siaret. Macam ni, dia guna gambar lain. Uh, tak apalah kita, tak apa. It's okay. So dah dapat tu, no need to click global. Global ni if you have many images. Ni ada satu je tak payah lah. Dah click okay. Okay, dah dapat kan? Uh, dua tangan balik. Uh, hover that, unzoom the image. Unzoom the image. Cuba hover on the leaf. Let's say that the leaf. Do you know more or less what's the width of your leaf? Let's say that 1.5 cm kan? Betul tak? 1.5 cm. So use the straight line tool again. Kita ambil the length of the leaf width. Kita measure ni. Nak measure? Dia boleh buat macam tu tekan M. M. Mata aku. Engkau tak payahlah kan aku cakap dah kalau kau nak tahu ni kau straight kan lah dia ni 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 angle ni kau nak jadikan straight dia ke 90 dia straight lah aku berseni ah dah macam tu so dah 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 happy kan so press m to measure nampak dia keluar reading ni nampak ni dia keluar ni kan so what is the length for my leaf 1.12 cm Make sense? Make sense lah. Okay, however, tengok kat depan tu. Ada benda yang tak ada, ada benda yang ada kat sini. We want yours ni to be lebih kurang macam tu. So, kita pergi dekat result, set measurement, uh, check area, uncheck minimum max gray value, uncheck mean gray value. Yeah. So, check area ni pun dah cukup dah. Haa. Uh, Area saja dah cukup dah. Lepas tu klik OK. Bila klik OK, tengok. Kan dah bersih sikit. Angle angle tu tak apa sebab angle tu dia just nak bagi tahu whether engkau sengit ke tak sengit. Maksudnya my line tak sengit lah kalau straight 90 degree. Tapi sometimes you in, in, tangan kau yang tak berdua ambil gambar sengit. Is that my fault? Right. Is that my fault? Yeah. Perfect 90 lah. Okay, but not to worry. Alright, boleh follow? Boleh follow? Boleh follow? Okay, so sekarang mari ambil bacaan um, length dengan width. Length dengan width? No, no, no. Kita ambil area dulu. Kita ambil area dulu. Afiq, kita nak buat? Kita nak demo? Siar aku. Cita Afiq. Kita nak tunjuk ke? Tunjuk Rafiq. Ana. Ah, biar 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 tunjuk. So, um, tengok macam mana nak dapatkan leaf area. Kenapa dia hitam tu? Screen. Oh. Ingatkan dah highlight. Jangan lagi. Polygon. Ah, dia tak masuk ke tak kira? So kena main dengan ni lah. Uh, zoom out dengan zoom in. Okay, sekarang ni idea dia, you want to eliminate list yang tak kaitan dengan hidup. Termasuk kalau kamu baris, dah tak mahu lah. Tak sekali je. Jadi kita kena bagi tahu dekat image A, focus satu list sahaja sekarang. But in order to do that, kita kena lah tracing dia dulu. Begitu. Kalau guna digital pen, senang lah. Kamu promise ni kat dia kan, guna dia mahu. Thank <laughs> you. 
M. Ha, lepas tu kan. Kedua. Ha? Oh, belum lagi, belum lagi. Ada yang terus. So when you come back to the original coin, double click untuk cantum mati dari special. Kita akan pergi ke image Kita akan pergi ke Ejar Image, edit Edit, edit. Eh, image Edit lah, kau kena remove dia dulu Clear ah, outside Clear outside <laughs> Clear ah. ah. okay. Oh, ah. oh gila macam ni <laughs> Ambil tangan ni bagi ni ke tengah sikit Tangan <laughs> Okay, okay sekarang ni Jangan bagi nama apa lagi Dia tengah, sekarang ni, oh sorry sekarang ni dia tengah highlight the whole leaf right? Tekan air so that you get the leaf area. Tekan air. Tekan air, buka window dia balik. Uh, now you get the leaf area which is 50 for my for my leaf lah, 52. Oh, ni. Oh, ni. 48. Eh, okay. Mak mana ada point? Mak ada dua tu. Mak ada point. Ni kan, kadang-kadang kalau kita tak ada kan, kita boleh eh jangan dia. Jadi kan, macam bercerita lagi lagi kira. Kalau kalau tak berdiri, dah. Tak berdiri. 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 You just got leaf area tanpa gunakan mesin batu ni Which is Tak betul Anyway Nampak tak Versatility of this method Maksudnya kita boleh kongat je leaf dulu Kau tak kira aku pergi gunung mana pun Kuali air dulu Kau tu ambil je gambar Kan? It can be a coin It can be a kotak manchis Anything that you know the dimension of it boleh. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, Afiq, go on. 
Okay. Okay, lepas tu akan pergi ke Imish. Touch Imish. Adjust. Uh, ambil leng. Uh, ambil leng dulu. Okay, leng. Sekejap. Um, un, un highlight ni. Highlight dulu. Um, um, ambil ambil dah leng dulu. Uh. Okay. Uh, ambil leng. Okay, first kita akan ambil leng dulu. Leng, so... Okay, ambil leng dulu. Kita ambil je leng, semangat je. Leng dia ambil ujung ke ujung. Tapi if you want to be fancy about it, you can use the polygon to create a straight line. Bukan polygon ni. Yang... Dah tengok. Ah, dah tengok kot. Ikutlah pun dah. So, bila dah tarik tu, just tekan M. So, akan dapat length dia. Okay. So, length dah dapat. Berapa length dia? 54 cm. Hmm. Lepas tu, length, ambil, lebar daun pula. Leaf width. Leaf width for rice, ambil yang in the middle. Sebab in the middle is the widest uh, portion of it. Hmm. Yang ambil buat. Nak keluar ni? Ya, tak keluar. Lain ni. Ah. Nak klik kentik. Zai. Klik saja. Ah. Ada dengar kau pun kan? Tak ada. Uh, oh yang ni kena lah. Sebab untuk line dia, M. Okay, boleh. Kena ada straight line je. 42 ni lah. Kalau tak confident, kalau nampak dia punya urat tengah ambil dia tu, just follow the matrix. Boleh juga apa ni. Sometimes you can see the matrix, right? Follow the matrix. Hmm. Okay, dah. Ah, sama saya dah. Okay, lepas tu lebar daun dia. Tak muncul dulu ni dia punya dekat lah. Okay. Okay dah. Okay, kalau dah, kita move to the next uh, green area. Uh, okay, ni, green. Okay, untuk green area, kita akan pergi first image. Setelah so, adjust. Lepas adjust, pergi ke color to show. Okay. okay. First, pergi ke image. Image, setelah adjust. Adjust. Uh, dan color threshold hmm. So, dia akan keluar macam ni lah So, main-main lah Haa, lepas tu, ini ada setting dia Setting dia, kalau untuk hue ni Haa, oh, unclick uh, dulu, dark background ni Unclick, dark background? Haa uh, Haa, uh, dekat ni Kau dah? Send dalam group Supaya semua orang boleh tengok Uncheck the box first Oh, Ibu kan? Kalau minimum. SSB. Ini dah. Ini Ini dah. Ini dah. Ini dah. Ini dah. The show method tu minimum. Ah, okay. ah, sudah sudah sama. Okay, pasti saya tinggal untuk yang Q ni, yang atas ambil empat puluh dua. Untuk yang second tu one or nine. Okay, so dia ada value tau. Kita tulis kat dalam value dia. Ada dalam group. Ada dalam group. Ha, tengok dalam group tu. Dia ada value tau. Sembilan. New saturation brightness. Ini rasa tu untuk nampak ni. Lepas tu enam. Saturation dia six. Enam. Enam. Lepas tu yang bawah tu, two five five sama. Brightness untuk yang atas kosong. Yang bawah tu satu. Satu. Oh. 
Operation 6 ke bawah 25. Eh berarti 100. Atas atas ke bawah 100. Ya, no? Dah. Okey. Ketepikan sikit benda ni. Uh, window ni tunjukkan kalau jadi dia akan jadi macam ni. Okey, kalau dah tekan select. Hmm. Ah. Uh, so, dia akan jadi macam tu. Oh. Ini boleh tutup. Betul? Ini boleh tutup. Betul lah. Make sure TikTok pas pas tu. Saya hilang. Pas? Saya hilang. Eh, oh aku nak. Oh, oh, dia baru tahu. Dia baru tahu. Oh, dia baru tahu. Dia baru tahu. Canggih. Ni bawa ni. Ini tu nama dia. Ah, dia ni. Bawa ni. Kalau rest dia. Okey, dah dapat. Dah sudah tu, tekan select then this is what you will get. Tekan select. Meaning that image has highlighted the green area only. It's putting all yang warna putih, coklat, biru, kelabu hitam tu. Kan? So, <laughs> kalau tak dapat foto, nak tengok video. Video. Can you give my class the... I Okay, lepas tu just click the M Measure next Ha. Okay, cuba cuba tengok sekarang ni Nombor lima tu area 38 only Maksudnya From the original area of 52 Hanya 38 cm square sahaja yang sihat hijau Yang lain tu Mungkin duka, kena blight, cancer Kan? Dia tak kira sebab dah hijau Dia tak, tak Dia sebab sebab Dia Ya, yeah. maksudnya dua benda boleh dia detect. Dia akan buang injury of the leaf and also disease part of it. Sekali hmm. lah, kita dapat lain hmm. disease ini. Hmm. 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 Ah, so, ah, go on, continue. Okay, so, M. Hmm. Ah. Ya, M tu yang ada area yang kuning. Tak ada hijau. Ini hijau saja. Ah. Ini tak masuk. Tak oh. Select all dapat. Ctrl A kan je semua dulu. Ha. Ctrl A. Tak select all je. Ha. Ha. Ctrl C lepas tu. Ha. Pilih lah mana-mana. Sheet baru ke. Dia tak ikut tajuk. Jadi untuk elakkan confusion, tulis satu macam siap. Column tu apa, area apa, nombor satu tu land, nombor dua tu wave, land, apa benda.
Ah, this is string to lock. So, the button. Is it legit to the young Sihar? Ah, is it to the young Sihar? to know the disease area berapa persen. So that nanti boleh access rate dengan your treatment tu ada tak improvement? Kan ada N equals 5, tahun 1 berapa persen, terus berapa persen nanti dapat ke average dia. Belajar statistik kan? So ada ada 5 parameter kat sini. Land, width, area, jenis area, dengan disease. Ha? Kita harap 100%. Ah boleh juga. Ataupun pakai just Pakai persen biasa tu. So first wall area, area, tolak green area, over bahagikan dengan whole area. Hmm. Hmm. So tu kau enter kat dia, dapatlah 27% maksudnya untuk gambar ini, treatment ini, daun ini 27% mengalami kesederaan ataupun kasetek. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, mungkin mungkin agak banyak sebab mungkin sebab dia kontrol pun, that's a hard for this session. Kan? Very very easy. Okay, so dia punya kerja sekolah adalah <laughs> kena buat benda ni lah untuk for your masukkan dalam report keberkesanan your treatment. Kalau tak komputer, save, you can new Ya, ya, ok Kita kena bagi ni, so siapa nak buat siapa? Bukan dia You need to data collectively But you don't have to do it sorang-sorang Maksudnya seorang boleh take responsibility dengan kawan untuk finishkan satu treatment habis. Sebab kan dua, a back seal dengan a deck seal. Uh, so nanti after two weeks time mungkin uh, boleh combine the data, semua orang boleh share, then use for analysis lihat report masing-masing. Okay, you, do you have a system for that? Apa? Oh, tak tahu, tak tahu. Eh, eh dah, mengerti apa? Kat sini. <laughs> ni, bagi apa ni? Oh, macam ni. Ah, macam ni. So, ni tak... Dia ada... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Satu kereta ni ada 5. So, we plan nak pay out lah. So, dua orang buat satu. So, sini ada 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, so happy. Dah jalan ni buat aku. Macam seorang kan. Ada seorang ambil satu lah kan. Boleh je nak potong kalau jadi orang ke fokus. Ada seven. Hmm. Siapa? 
cabut dulu sih setelah pulang. Ah, pilih kawan dulu, and then boleh cabut dulu. So saya lihat ini ya. Dah dah. Ada ada geng, ambil ambil. Cabut ya. Oh, for spiritual. Oh, for spiritual. Oh, for spiritual. Oh, for spiritual. Oh, for <laughs> M for M M like okay um, Alexil Satu, dua, tiga okay. Alexil yeah, Alexil je lah, M like okay Lepas tu kalau ada data, hmm. ada Excel for me Bagi dapat Excel tu, so ada yeah. data langsung kat mana? Oh, bisa Masuk mana buat untuk semua data-data Yes Ah, yes. Yes. ni ada satu folder Yes Dia ada Excel dengan Excel So, data arrange lah dalam hope. Okay, happy? 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 Bangun tangan, kita diterima. Okay, bila nak siap, uh, let's try 10 days. 10 days for now. So that uh, semua orang boleh kumpulkan data, tengok semua dah cukup, siapa tak cukup, kita baling dia. Semua dah dapat report. Uh, you're very simple kan? Okay, alright. Um, I think activity for today, that's just it. Is that clear? Nak yes. serang ulang kan? I tengok video dia tengah, tak tanya saya. I tengok video. So meaning that kalau kau cakap dia sikit kan, image je ni is a very powerful tool. Macam-macam dia boleh buat. Kau tak perlu kat Adobe Adobe tu. Itu mahal, mahal, berat dan kau pun tak reti pun. Itu kenapa? Kenapa kau guna macam ni? Eh, very easy. So kalau tak ada machine kat belakang tu, nak measure apa tu? Leaf area. Ambil dah gambar dulu. Tapi make sure dalam gambar tu ada scale. Scale doesn't have to be roller. Anything. Can be a coin. Kan? Ni, jari tengah kau ke? Haa, tu asli. <laughs> Boleh je? Kan? Kan? Macam, oh, kaki saya lah. Bobo. Bobo. Okay. Uh, I think that's all. Good. Is it okay? The link now? Dah, dah, dah bagi. Safe lah? Dah, dah habis ni. Sikit lagi. <laughs> so, um, any question? Any question? Happy? Tak kau bingung apa? Afiq. Ada dalam Excel kan? Dalam Excel ni. File ni ada kat mana? Semua dalam folder tu juga. Tunjukkan folder mana? Cerang-cerang. Tunjuk. Tunjuk folder mana? This class is very organized. Putra Blast pun tak macam tu. Semua dalam tu je. Kau tak payah nak lompat-lompat. Engkau kat mana? Jauh sangat sampai kau ni. <laughs> Janganlah buta IT. Sangat kau nak Cambridge ni. Macam mana? Tengok. Apa ni tengok mak, mak, mak cik kantin sekolah sedang tu. Tidak. Apa benda semua? Kemain. Oh, tengok itu, dia joget-joget kat tepi nasi itu. Duk, duk buat konten. Ush. Tak masalahnya kan, aku pun tak ada aircon TikTok. Aku pun tak tahu apa benda. Tak masa, maksudnya all this uh, macam-macam sekarang ni, uh, uh, they are following benda-benda trending macam ni. I, I think sebab dia kata TikTok tu jual kedai. So, I think they, they are selling something kat situ kot. Hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. I think that's all for today. Any question? Bangkangan? <laughs> okay. So I'll see you on Thursday. Um, macam ni. Tadi I said about the nak kelas ganti kan? We need a calendar. Can we open a calendar yang agak besar? Semua orang nampak? 
Google buka kat ni Google punya apa browser buka uh, Google Calendar. Um, in essence, we just need uh, two more classes dan juga dua sesi lab macam ni sahaja. Then it's done. It's done. Okay. Test tu apa-apa benda tu selit-selit je lah. Right. Uh, ni bulan berapa? Disember. Uh, minggu depan lah cuti. Sebenarnya minggu ni, bulan ni kan kau kelas sekali je. Haa. Tapi tak payah kelas. Haa. Kan. Ni, ni lah. Hire dia lah. Kan. Masalahnya dia wish not coming through pun. Um, cuba tengok Januari. Eh sekejap. Sekarang nak hire dia berapa? 18. Where? Where? Oh. Next week Christmas, the following week. Oh, following week tu, you pun nak. Haa. <laughs> macam ni, macam ni. Um, kita ada empat benda in total kan. I think we can finish it dalam tiga kali jumpa saja. So, hari Kamis. Kau boleh datang ke Kamis? After New Year tu? Ha. Ah. New Year bila? Do you have class petang hari Kamis? Eh uh, apa yang yang lepas New Year tu? Empat. Ni ada merah ni apa? Learn English kau. Eh <laughs> uh, empat hari bulan. Sebab sebab I want to finish it sebab you don't have to datang kelas tu minggu 13 14 tu. So we just finish kalau boleh minggu ni dengan minggu sampai sini je sampai 8 bulan ni. Kalau boleh the plan is nak buat ni. Eh 4 5 lepas tu 8 dah settle. Kalau boleh. 5 Jumat pukul berapa? Um sekejap jelah kot like 1 hour 1 hour. Oh. Kamis petang. Ha petang kami ke petang. Jumat pagi. Oh, tak apa macam ni. Maybe tak payah kacau Jumaat tu, kacau Khamis je. Pagi Khamis, lepas tu rehat, petang datang lagi. Lepas tu hari Isnin pun do the same. Sebab hari Isnin tu is like today lah, kan? Like today tu. Uh, okay lah kot. Hmm. Uh, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. So finish. Kamis, Kamis, uh, as usual lah kita mula. Ya, yeah, pagi, pagi kita mula as usual. You don't have to pergi ladang lah. Kita, kita nak, kita nak uh, habiskan demonstration alat tu. Dan juga tu, tu tengok apa benda nak kena buat untuk ni. Dan juga untuk give back your test one dan juga quizzes tu. Uh, you want to see how you you do in life? <laughs> Tak, I think I am okay je kalau nak buat air rabu tu korang lah masalah ha. Nak buat, boleh je nak buat kalau nak buat pagi Jumaat, eh apa, petang ha. Maksudnya hari Kamis buat pagi, lepas tu hari Jumaat, petang Ah, Alas Mina, macam mana bantu sangat <laughs> oh, dia orang ni kan small group. So dia hmm. So macam mana? Ke kau orang decide. You just decide my my Instagram group macam mana. Lepas tu just let me know lah. I just I just want to finish this off cepat sebab cuti kita ni banyak sangat. Kan? We we just need dua kali je lagi lessons dan dua lagi uh, sesi lab. Lepas tu habis. Aku okey je. Malam pun tak apa. I'm, I'm always okay. Ha. 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 Ha.
Why not dalam group tu decide something and then just notify me balik aja. Hmm. As. Ah, sama di decide, sama di decide, sama di decide, sama di decide, sama di decide. I, I, I just, I just want to prepare my lesson plan. Tak tahu. Kamis ni ada, Kamis ni as, as, as usual. So hari Kamis ni pergi sana. Lepas tu mungkin kita boleh demo satu alat lah kot. Very quickly, alat, alat. Kalau like ada kita buat like hari Kamis ni. Okay? Tanya. Uh, Remy ada kat situ ke? Mesti tak ada dari kelas kan? Ah, uh, survey bodoh je. Survey, 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 survey bodoh je. Yep. Dan juga ambil data spat. Spat. Hari, so hari Jumaat ni, you just uh, apply, tak tak, sebelum apply the the final folia, <laughs> bukan folia treatment, folia maintenance, take the spat reading, then baru apply tu dan kira tiler lah kot. Yap. Yap. Hmm. Hmm. Kau ada ke kat masa? Uh, YB kan. <laughs> tak, tak apalah we, 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 we can stick it macam kita plan. So hari hari Jumaat ni we just purely buat demonstration alat. Hmm. Hmm. Yap. Yap. So guna light meter, light bar semua tu lah kot. Hmm. Jot tak ada esok kan? <laughs> Kenapa tak? Ma ma mana? <laughs> tadi dia dalam group dia email tau. <laughs> Lepas tu? Adalah. Alamak. I need, I need to worry about it lah. <laughs> tak. Aminnya mana nak discuss? Dia ni kau dia masih meeting dengan Pakcik. What about, what about the RA? Atau macam. Uh, at least kalau RA tu boleh meeting with you first ke? Okay je. Uh, nanti maybe somebody uh, some, some it up lah kot dalam group tu just so that semua orang clear nak kena buat apa. Kan? Kau nak cuti lama ni? Jangan, jangan, jangan nak gembira sangat. Tak, kata kalau kalau dah kecemasan sangat I I don't mind pun kalau kalau nak buat sekejap apa kelas kelas uh, Tak kira lah malam ke kau nak buat hari ahad pagi satu jam ke benda semua. Just nak habiskan tu je. Habiskan tu then ah dah. Kau boleh cuti lama dah. Sikit lagi. Dua lessons, dua kuliah. Eh, dua lesson, dua kuliah apa? Dua lesson. On demo alat. Ah, alat tu. Alat tu. Lesson, lesson, le les lesson ni sebab nak go through quizzes ni. Ni ada quizzes ni kan? So hari Kamis, after we done with it, we go through with the quizzes. Okay. Bawa lah benda ni. Uh, aku tanya tau, nanti kat ladang. Yang ni apa jawapan dia? Okay, alright. Happy, happy. Ah, uh, buat. Huh? Boleh je. Uh, tak, 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 tak. Untuk kelas. Is it possible untuk... Kamis ni? Ya. Yeah. Ini sekali dengan orang. If kalau sempat kau nak nyelit, why not? Kau so, tanya kalau nak esok, tapi esok macam nasi. Tak, tak, tak. Bukan esok. Jangan. Jangan kacau esok. Yalah. Jangan. Hari, hari kelas 